<laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and watch game two, see if this goes up to game three. And he should side in the light and prison in the mirror. Oh yeah, oh definitely. All prohibition and call you mano. Mm hmm Because you without you without you Yeah, without your mono, the that Bujins fall apart, and so I really do. Yeah, you definitely need Yamato. He's mm -hmm. still the star of the deck. I don't care if you got your new Bujin guys. He's been the star of the deck since the beginning, and he probably will be for a fucking long time unless they give you, like, a Yamato that's not quite as good as Yamato, but still gets your stuff and lets you set up. I think I think the whole uh, story is done. I think they're done with Bujins. Yeah. Because they actually had a story, and pretty much the story is over. Ah. Mr. Uh, Bujin guy here is done siding. I'm not even gonna try to say their names. I mean, I guess that's just Chris too fast for you. But the other guy, I think it's X X Lil X X. X I think he just put that just to look cool. Yeah. He's like Lil, and I'll put some X's there because I'm pro. Like, okay. I don't get why people do that. I also don't get why people in their usernames, unless they unless they're making videos for YouTube, right? I don't get why people put in usernames like on DevPro and DN HD. <laughs> like, what, what the fuck's the point of putting HD? I saw a guy like Chris HD. I'm like, like what? You're, you're why? Right? <laughs> unless, unless you're it, doing videos for YouTube, why the fuck do you have HD in your username? What the fuck is HD about you? Because he's HD. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I might make a new, I might make a uh, new account, like you know, and just call it Stonzy 4K. <laughs> Fuck your HD, I'm 4K, bitch. <laughs> He's like, He's like, I'm HD, and my deck is OP, and when I beat you, I'm gonna say GG. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is your fucking anagrams? I don't understand what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Christ. Wow. Yeah, all right. It, it begins. Really? Really? Open up with both of them. Mm, Alright, I guess. And, and you know, people still don't believe me with the whole, you know, Dev Pro, cre I mean, Dev Pro, D increases the odds of you getting limited cards so you'll see them more uh -huh. often. People Dev don't believe Pro me. Does, Dev Pro does it too. You don't believe me. It, Dev Dev look at that. It. That, right there. Is that an ad? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, you got else up You got Compulse, Bottomless, Two Limited, Warning, Dark Two limited. What else? Yeah. So what else? Like, that... That fucking like game where I think where you had once where you drew how many? I think you drew like four mm -hmm. limited cards in your opening hand. Yep. Like okay, good job. Don't, don't increase the odds. Seventy-four watches. You see, that was because we're in it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, like, Mastery, you gotta like, come in Stanzi here. Like Stanzi and Mastery, the dream team. We gotta be in here. <laughs> All right. So he's putting back his eight tree and something else. What else? Oh, and a seven tree. I don't know their names. <laughs> That's disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you. And oh, the curry okay. bandit. I really wonder if we're going to go to a game three. Mm, I don't know. This guy seems like he's playing a turbo version of fucking Sylvan. No, yeah, Sylvan's. Well, damn. All right. Well, it's clear what you're getting back. Do you have to get it back? You can. He doesn't have to. Okay. You can. Well, sorry, but why the fuck wouldn't you ever? Did he have double back? Sure looks like it. I can't tell. <laughs> All I know is that during his end phase, he's going to have to discard something. He has too many cards in his hand. Mm-hmm. Controlled milling versus excavating. Cause some of those effects couldn't even go off. Didn't he? he didn't he send like a a a, a story? Curry bandit he put in the grave, which don't do anything. I think he got some monsters. Oh shit! Sure, he's got the Yamato. Oh well. Unless you got, some, unless you sided against him, it's pretty much game over. All right. Once they get Yamato on board, unless you can get rid of that fucker immediately, it's game over. Yep. Go ahead and play that Kaiser Coliseum. Did you shake his hand? Pretty much. I haven't seen Kaiser off this guy or Vanities yet. I've seen Vanities. He popped it, remember? Last duel. Oh, okay, okay. 
Alright, so Yamato is going to do what? Are you just gonna send hair a turtle? I think you should send hair before you start sending turtle. Nope, he's gonna add me to oh. you. The one that isn't actually like that good. And send Quillen, okay. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I hair is the most important one to send. Oh, and end phase MST. And you hit vanities. Nice. Yeah. Alright, Sylvan so guy's turn. Go off. I mean, really, with artifacts running around, you shouldn't be blind spacing much anymore. <sighs> I know not I every mean, day you're going to face artifacts. The, the thing with but... artifacts is that you should, I mean, if you're going to blind space, blind space during their turn, because their artifacts can't go off during their turn. So oh, yeah. That was a smart play doing the end phase MST. Like, end phase MST has never been really that bad, but yeah. Just Especially don't MST now it's bad during your yellow. turn. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Alright. He's putting back peace and debris. Peace and debris. <laughs> mm, sounds delicious. <laughs> Konami should make a cereal. Yu-Gi-Oh! Peas and debris. Mm, delicious. It could be like a breakfast cereal, right? And you have like little pieces of peacekeepers, like little peacekeepers that you eat, and then little debris dragons. And marshmallow debris dragons? No, but better yet, it follows the ban list, so you only get one debris dragon <laughs> per box. <laughs> <laughs> You only get one per box, so you get like everything else peacekeepers, and you only get one fucking. No, better yet, you should follow Yu Gi Oh rules, right? So you get three peacekeepers in your whole box of cereal, and you get one debris dragon. And what the fuck is the rest of the cereal? Just generic pieces of. <laughs> it's air. Food? It's air lined with air, with garnishing. It's an empty ass air. box. <laughs> 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 and then Konami just can be like. On the way to the bank, I'm in the money. No I'm one would ever get money. that. No one ever would ever Suckers buy our Yu-Gi-Oh cereal, cause we're broke. Oh, does you? Did it? Yu-Gi-Oh ever have a cereal? No. <laughs> That's really surprising. You would think that they would make a Yu-Gi-Oh cereal. <laughs> what about Pokemon? I don't fucking know. Probably. Probably be like. You know what they should do? Pokemon should, if they don't have a cereal, they should do one. And should they should market it on TV in the advert. Put my Pokeballs into your mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I love how this is meant to be a dual commentary video, and we're going on about fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cereals and Pokeballs in your mouth. Like, what the fuck? Five, 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 do it. A little off topic, yeah. Nigga! You should have made a fucking Armadies and run into, into it. it. Should have made an Armadies and run the fuck like... into it and killed the Bujin guy. Because he couldn't have fucking activated anything. Oh, God. Like, nigga. Really? I really thought you were going to go into Armadies and run his ass yeah. over. He couldn't even play fucking Honest or Hair or nothing. Couldn't block with fucking Crane. But nope. He just let that shit go. You better have... <sighs> Alright, Mr. Sylvan, dude. Seems like you're just really aggressive in turbo. You ain't got no time to fucking run any decent back row. Huh? What are those fucking trap stuns and wiretaps? I'm really disappointed in this guy. I'm not sure if we're gonna go to a game three with fucking his playing. So far, all I've been seeing from him is luck. Sylvan Charities and getting the freaking sword on the fucking Tempest and just all luck from what I've seen so far. The oh, soul no. charges. It's like, really? Like, your luck can't beat skill forever, buddy. It might get you a few games, but it can't get you everything. Mm -hmm. And besides, I wouldn't want to win through luck. I'd rather win and say, you know what, I beat that person with my skill, not my fucking luck. Like, really? You would think that he would side out the lance. <clears throat> yeah. I haven't seen any he knows he's going. Thing. He knows he's going against Sylvans. I mean, the most is like what? Oh, and there is the soul charge again. Oh. Just, just wait till when? When's on the ban list? June is it? July. July. Fuck. July can't come around fast enough. Yeah, they decided to hold it back past nationals for America. Oh, great. Because I think, I think the the nationals for America is like. The weekend right before the new ban list. Ah. So they didn't want to have people like in the deck. 
I don't know why you just didn't. Why won't you just announce it early and then make people prepare their decks before they go to nationals? But whatever, it's fucking. Because they want to make more money off people buying soul charges, and then after nationals, the soul charges will be worthless. Soul charges like, isn't even spell- the fucking money card in that set. It's all about the hands. Yeah. Well, they're probably limiting the hands then, or semi-limiting. Hey, hey, I've- hey! Get what? off my ban list prediction. <laughs> I say they need to be limited, personally. No, I mean, those, limited, they limit, can still limited, do, they can no. still do the reborn Tengu stuff. They can, one can still summon the fucking other, and That's at least then you don't get four pops, two bat rotors. Limited is too much. That's annoying. Limited, and the cards won't even be played. There's no point. You gotta keep in mind, you can still draw the cards. Semi-limited mm-hmm. is, is as far as it, that that hit should go. Because unlimited, that's stupid. Then you only have one of each, really. So you get so one pops and then some of the other one and then the other one does pretty much nothing. It pops and then it doesn't summon anything because there's nothing left. Mm. In fact, the other one wouldn't pop at all because it has to pop. I know. No, it can it can pop, but it just it can pop, but it just can't summon. Yeah. Yeah. Some people arguing with me drive me crazy. Like that one guy is like, oh yeah, I don't have to pop the summon. Like really. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> so, yeah, I think semi-limited would be enough for them. They'd still be playable, but they wouldn't be as powerful. Yeah, they're too good to be at three each. Yeah. As soon as I saw them, I'm like, really? Like, you just, you just get pop something. Bad. If, it, if it only said destroy my battle, it wouldn't be that bad. Dude, look at your fucking Sylvan player over there. Look at his deck! I know. God damn, dude, he's going through everything. This duel is slow. Mm hmm. But well, then again, it's Bujins versus Sylvans. Of course it's going to be slow. Sylvans aren't that fast, and neither are Bujins. To tell you the truth, for this series, depending on how long these duels take, I might cut the matches and rounds and shit. Yeah, Cause this well, video... like, upload each round. Yeah, because this video is already, like, 23 minutes plus. And then if they go to game three... Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> like, the struggle right now. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll try it for this one, but, like I said, we'll probably go ahead and do the... Well, why don't you round. ask uh, the viewers, like, to see if they want the whole match in one video, or they want it cut up into games? I mean, by the time they, hit, by the time they reach here, <laughs> they probably left by now. <laughs> Mm. Alright, so what is... or How much is that? That card's only $20? Really? That's surprising. Yeah. I guess it's, yeah, it's only really good in Sylvans. Yeah. Damn. Nigga. Holy shit. He's just going through his whole damn deck. I know, he does not want anything. He's like, no, I'm alright. I just want my deck. You're like, no, 10 cards. 10 card deck, that's fine. So what does he do? Send a from your hand or face um, up on your side of the graveyard, and look at the number of cards in the top of the deck equal to the level of monsters in the graveyard in the field, and place them on top of the deck in any order. Once per turn, you can touch on Fumito from this card. Choose a number 1, 2, 3, then excavate that many cards from the top of your deck. Send any excavated plant monsters from your. Also, place another top. Doesn't he bounce cards or something? Yeah, I think he. No, it's the other one that bounces, I'm pretty sure, doesn't he? Doesn't this, like, return to the deck or something? Yeah, I think this returns return to the deck. To many cards from the field to the... Oh, so if there are many plants you excavated, you get to return uh, that many cards from the field to the hand. Minimum one, except this card. Also, place the other cards. On the bottom of the deck in any order. So it's the eight one that bounces back to the deck, and this one bounces back to the hand, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's gonna excavate, and then he's gonna go ahead and bounce the Yamatos and the and the Mikazuki back. Didn't he activate Soul Charge this turn? Yeah. So there's no attacking from him. Really, his plays are just kind of just. Eh. He's running Copy Plant and Princess Sprout in one deck. I mean, I would run one or the other personally. Mm-hmm. I don't see the need to run both 
they do the they do a very similar job except one's a tuna really. Mhm. Mm and, and, and the other one and the other one excavates a little more. You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm I mean, do any of the monsters need the silver name like their XE? Does the eight one need the silver name? Nope. It's generic. All all their exceeds are generic. This the seven guys generic, and that eight one's generic because they run it in the Gaku Mm. It's got thirty two hundred Ds of beast. You just sit them in defense. You're like, no, put that back in the deck. Put that back in the deck. It's good. Because you just purposely you just make the generic eights, so you just purposely call a card that you don't have in the deck. And then you miss, and then you put and your then back. and then you miss, and then you can put all it back. That's so dumb. <laughs> the card that's good. And yet, no one plays it. I'm too busy running around. Just a non Everyone, everyone, the eights, everyone plays Felgrand and that 4000 uh, Galaxy. Oh. Uh, that's all they play. That's primal. all everyone seems to play. Yeah, that's all everyone seems to play. They don't play that Sylvan card. I'm like, why? It puts stuff back into the fucking deck. That's like the best place to put stuff back. Yes, it is. Make sure you yeah. miss. Fucking just make your opponent neg. This is great. They don't mm -hmm. really have access to it unless they search for it. And these 3200 defense, you can just set that fucker in defense and be like, yeah. What's his attack? Like 20, 20, 20? I think he's 2100 attack, I think it is. Oh, okay. like that. He's shitty attack, but you, you can just sit him in defense as a wall. Dude! Marathon ass turn! I know. That's what Sylvan's got for you. Nigga! Mar okay. Okay. You almost done? Okay. Whew, finally. Why not regular Stardust? I know. Hmm. I guess he wants to protect his Aria. Against anything, like, you know? Oh, yes. I guess him, like, trying <laughs> to crane into his Aria. His Oreo. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> oh, here comes her room, eh? Who made the cards that kind of sped up Bujin? That cost fifteen dollars? Damn. Yeah. It's not really played that much, but it's just Bujin height, general general hype for Bujins, it's like, oh, all the cards are good. Right, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. You can excite them, but... Uh, Do it! Yeah, I would, personally, but... Make it this... Just make this shit even longer than it has to be right now. Or don't. Wait, you got the Honest again? Oh, the Crane. Wait, does... I think you can drop... Yeah, you can drop Crane when you attack, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but it's only for one monster. It's only for one attack. It's not like Honest, where he keeps, he keeps the attack boost and he keeps ramming. Mm. <laughs> he blocks once, right, Stardust? Yeah, just once. Okay, once each, okay. Once each. Whew! I was just like, can he just keep ramming into a damn monster until he dies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that would be interesting. That that would be broke. I wouldn't be wrong. Just attack, 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 attack. Like, oh, you can't be destroyed by battle? Well, then take all this damage. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking rip a part of damn marshmallow. <laughs> Damage calculation. Okay. Let's gonna drop the crane. If he has on his Oh damn. Did we see the yeah we did. Fuck damn, yeah. So that diva. I got sighted in. Are you gonna banish the crane? Oh shit, I lost connection. Me too. No! <laughs> Alright, be right back.